today we're going to preserve olives and this is we're going to preserve green olives so most olives start off being green then they start to go slightly yellow color which is when we preserve them we use them in this sort of light yellow color and then they start to go black these aren't quite ripe enough yet and so when we preserve black olives they have to be black so what we're going to do with these ones is we're going to crush them with a jar we can use a little mallet or something and we're going to take out the pip and then we're going to store them in for three days in acidulated water acidulated water means that it has lemon or vinegar in it because with um, olives and you can see by the side of the the thing there the pot the bowl sorry that they go very black so we need to stop them from going too black and we also wear gloves because your fingers go black so it's if we were making oil, that's what the oil comes from. It comes from the pressings of the olives. These are too green to make olive oil. Uh, normally when we do olive oil, they should be a little bit of a, a darker color. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna do this and then we'll come back and we'll show you all the different processes. Of, this is a Sicilian recipe. Uh, and this is something that my mother and my grandmother used to do all the time. So we'll come back and we'll see the rest of the process later. We've crushed all our olives here, as you can see, and we've washed them about three times to try and get a little bit of the um, um, sort of uh, oil off them. Now we're going to soak them with a little bit of vinegar and a lot of salt, because salt is the preservatives, is the preservative. So we're going to put a fair bit of salt in there. That's it. And we're going to put our olives in. And we're going to soak those for about three days. And what will happen is they'll no longer be a light green colour. They're going to be like a dark khaki colour. And that means that the salt and the vinegar has started to cure them or preserve them. And then I'll show you what the next step is after that. So we'll see you in three days. Okay, so here we have the olives and they've been soaking for three days. And as you can see, they started to change colour. There's still some green ones, but that, that'll be okay. So we're going to strain them. Take all the water out. And believe me, that water is very, very bitter if you were to drink it. And what we're going to do is we're just going to place them in a flatter container. And we're going to sprinkle them liberally with salt. The salt is going to actually draw out the moisture and more of the bitterness. Because the olives are very, very, very bitter. So we're going to leave these with all this salt for 24 hours and then we're going to come back and do one more process. So this is the salt which brings out the bit of the liquid and a little bit of the bitterness in it and we just leave them. Okay, that's it. Okay, so we haven't shown you the next process but after the salt um, has been there for 24 hours we cover them in vinegar just straight white vinegar and then they stay for 24 hours as well and then we strain them and get all the vinegar out push them down a little bit and as you can see the color has changed completely there's no light green ones there at all now which means that these olives now are quite edible I can eat them they're not bitter at all quite delicious actually so now what we're going to do is we're going to season them and put them in jars and what we're going to do is we're going to put some fennel seeds delicious fennel seeds you can put whatever you want in them we're going to put a little bit of chili we're going to put a whole lot of garlic cloves and i'm also going to put in some oregano i grew this oregano myself so that's why i have to crunch it a little bit we're going to do that we're going to mix them up a little bit 
<clears throat> we're just going to put a tiny bit of oil just to season them, uh, to just coat them a little bit. Mix them all up like that. And then we put them straight into jars. So I'll put them into jars and then I'll show them to you all finished if you like. So yeah, we just put them in there. So we'll do that and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so we fill the jars up. Don't fill them right up to the very top because we're going to top them up with olive oil. So we just top them up with olive oil. Oh, it has to be olive oil, yeah? So what will happen is you let them sit for a little while because the oil will go down and then make sure that they're totally covered because if they're not totally covered, they will go off. So the oil acts as a preservative, as does the salt, as does, does the vinegar when you're preserving. But if they're kept under oil, they won't um, go off. Um, so there you go. That's your olives. These are Sicilian olive oils, not readily available in shops, but if you've got an olive tree at home, you should have a go. Um, good luck with all that. Cheers.